Happy to see you here on my channel, Higher Mathematics, and today we have really interesting exponential equation x to the power x to the power 4 equal to 4, and of course we need to find our x in this really interesting challenge. And in this video I'm going to fully explain you how we're going to do this correctly and step by step. First of all, let's rewrite our challenge right here, okay? So we have, we have x to the power x to the power 4 equal to equal to 4. This is our challenge. And I suggest you to raise both sides to the power 4. Okay, don't ask me why, but let's do this. This is really great, great trick. Let's continue solving right here in this in this part of paper. So we have x to the power x to the power 4 on the left hand side. So we have x to the power x to the power 4. We raise to the power 4 our, our left hand side. And we have 4 to the power 4 on the right hand side. And right now you should know a really great rule. So let's write this rule right here. So this is our rule, a really important rule in our case. So for example, imagine we have x to the power a and we raise these to the power b. Everyone know this property, everyone know this rule that we should multiply a times b. So we have x to the power a times a to the power a, a times b. And in the same way, because of this product, we can change position a little bit. We can write this as x to the power b times a. And in the same way, we can write it as x to the power b raised to the power a. And right now, let's look at it in the beginning right here. In the beginning, what we had? We had a right here, b right here, but in the end, and the right here we have all the time equal signs. So we have b inside parentheses and a outside. So saying in other words, we can change position of this power. This is like um, also known as rule of interchange. Someone called this as rule of interchange. And let's, let's apply this rule right here. So inside parentheses, we have x to the power 4. Outside of parentheses, we have we have 4. So according to this rule, we can swap position of our of our powers. So let's do this. So we have x to the power, what power? 4 right here, and this position, position goes 4. So we have 4, and outside goes x to the power 4. So we have x to the power 4, which is equal to 4 to the power 4. Okay? So we hope you understand this step. This is like the hardest step in this challenge because right now we don't need our good knowledge right here because we can easily see that we have x to the power 4 and x to the power 4. So this is, looks like the same base and same exponent right here. And we have absolutely the same expression right here. We have the same base and same exponent. So for example, if we write this x to the fourth power with a substitution as a and this x to the fourth power as a, as a result, we have a really great uh, e e equation. We have a to the power power a equal to 4 to the power 4. Okay, with this substitution a equal to 4, obviously, maybe someone don't understand why x to the fourth equal to 4, but before this explanation, I want you to look at this, for example, a to the power a equal to 4 to the power 4, okay? This is an obvious thing because same base and same exponent, and on the right hand side, same base and same exponent. So one and only way that this equation will have root, when a equal to 4 right here and a equal to 4 right here doesn't matter because we have absolutely the, the same the same expression on the left and on the right. So a equal to 4. And right now, who understand that a equal to 4, you can easily go back to this substitution. a will be, a was x to the power 4. And right here, x to the power 4 doesn't matter, but a equal to 4. So x to the power 4 is equal to, equal to 4. So this is our final equation. So we have x to the power 4 power equal to, equal to 4. Let's find it real quick. Let's find it real quick. Let's take fourth root on both sides. So we have x, x equal to fourth root of fourth root of four. This is our solution. This is our solution to this challenge. Or we can write it in another way. Let's write it as, but in the end, I write it in another way. Sim I simplified it in another way because right now I want to prove it. It's better to prove with this expression. Okay, so we have proof. Yeah, right here we want to prove our challenge. So we have, well, let's separate these lines. Okay, so right here we have, fourth root of fourth root of four to the power x to the power fourth root of four and to the power four in the end okay so to the power four let's look at it okay so fourth power of four fourth root of four to the power four okay this is equal only to four because we can we have fourth root this is looks like the same as square root to the power second okay we have fourth root to the power four which gives us only only four so this expression right here gives us only 4. So this power gives us only 4. So what do we have right now? We have 4th power of 4, 4th root of 4 right here, to the power 4, which gives us, 
which gives us four absolutely the same thing as before. We just raise this for one, or one over four to the power four, so we multiply one over four. If you write it in another way, so let's write it, of course, in another way, we can write it as four to the power one over four to the power four, which gives us four to the power one fourth, one fourth times four, which gives us only, only four. Okay, so this is the proof to this challenge because a lot of students don't understand about this method and they say that this is absolutely incorrect, but I want to I want them to look at this proof that this is absolutely good method. This is not like a good general method to this question. Maybe we'll have more roots, but for example, integer root we can easily find it according according to this method. Also we can rewrite this fourth root of four, we can write it as x equal to fourth root of, of four. We can write it as fourth root of Two square, or we can write it as two to the power two over four equal to two to the power one half, or equal to square root of two. Okay, so this is our our answer. Let's write this answer right here. X equal to square root of two, or let's write both cases. So x equal to fourth root of four. Maybe someone want to prove the challenge, and of course the second, uh, not like a second root, but interpretation with square root of two also can take place right here. So it, you can use both interpretation. But to prove this challenge, you also need this fourth root of four. So thank you for your time. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have more than 300 videos on my channel with interesting challenges. So thank you for your support. Thank you for your time. And see you in the next videos.